only it's only game why you have to be mad what is up heroes of dominion my name is charlie this is hero war central and in today's video we're going to discuss everything there is on this hero select screen. If this is your first time joining me, so I do videos about Hero Wars Mobile and Hero Wars Facebook and web as well. If that sounds like you, maybe uh, maybe consider leaving this channel a subscribe. Hero screen, this is the hero screen. We got Hero Galahad here. There's a lot of stuff happening and you will not have access to all of this from the start. There are things that open and unlock as you level up. But I want to start with this main screen because leveling up your heroes is the bulk of your game. And I want to say the most important thing, the absolute most important thing that you need to keep in mind with this screen and this game in general, it is all about resource management. There are several things here, skins, artifacts, glyphs, and gift of the elements. They all need to be leveled up. Do not waste resources leveling up things on heroes that you don't plan to use long term. There's a very finite amount of resources in this game, especially with the skins and the artifacts and the gift of the elements. So be very careful because you can't go backwards. You can't unlevel things. First, let's talk about skills. Every hero has four skills. I have 20 skill points available. This is by because of my VIP level. Most of you are only going to have 10 skill points available. These will reset. You can see here you gain one every five minutes up to a max of 20 or 10, whatever your max is. These four skills require gold and a skill point to level up. Each skill is different for each hero, obviously. These first two skills, the gray ultimate skill and the green skill are maxed out at your hero's level. You can see here level 83. These two skills won't go higher than level 83. Blue skill is your level minus 20. So I'm level 83. This will stop at level 63. 83 minus 20 is 63. And then Haran's Pride, the violet skill, the fourth skill that you unlock is capped out at 40 below your, your hero level. This caps out at 43. Now, in order to unlock all four of these skills, you have to promote the color rank of your hero. You can see here that my Galahad is violet. Yours might be gray, might be green, it might be blue or blue plus one. But once you promote this guy to violet, you can continue on promoting him to orange plus four. But you don't get all four skills unlocked until you get violet and how do you promote your hero you collect these six items you collect these six items from missions from the different shops and from uh, occasional caskets and chests that you'll get randomly for different gifts and bonuses throughout your day and once you equip all six items you can see here that i can create this item or i can get this item now okay so i can go in here and i can create it and then click equip there you go i've equipped the item i can go to get now and you can see here that i can create this item so i'll go ahead and here and create item this costs gold as well as the item i need these loot the enchanted loot so i need to collect three more i have two of the five pieces so i click on this and here are the campaign missions that i can do in order to get more pieces of this loot and i'm not going to worry about it right now but once you collect all six pieces you can promote the hero and once we talk about the stat actually let's go ahead and talk about the stats screen right now so click on the stats screen we'll come back to it in just a second second and you can scroll down and you can see what each color rank requires i'm currently violet you can see here that i have the hammer i'm missing the chalice item here i have the dagger I, i'm missing the uh, the armor piece i'm missing the bow and i'm missing this is it the, this is a shield of some kind and you can continue to scroll down to see what your hero is going to need to graduate all the way to the orange plus four color rank this is what you spend your energy on every day is trying to promote the color rank of your heroes promoting the color rank of your heroes matters for skills matters for glyphs we'll talk about that in just a second you equip all six items you click promote you gain a color rank these stars right here these stars represent the evolution of your heroes. As you get enough soul stones, you can see down here at the bottom, I have 73 out of 100. Once I collect 100 soul stones, I can evolve Galahad to a four star Galahad. Evolving a hero will raise your three primary stats, strength, intelligence, and agility. Galahad is a strength based hero. We'll talk about that when we get to the stat screen. And so he will gain more strength than he will agility and intelligence. Something to keep in mind, a big question that I get all of the time, is it better to not level up your hero, the hero level, see hero level 83, until you get a six star? No, absolutely evolve your hero to six stars as early as you can. Absolutely level up your hero 
as early as you can, especially if it's a hero that you're planning on using long term. If it's not, then I wouldn't I wouldn't rush it. I wouldn't worry about evolving or leveling or spinning the gold to level up and evolve. Don't worry about it. The reason for that is the amount of strength you get per level is what goes up when you get evolved. The amount of intelligence that you gain per level is what goes up when you evolve. And I've got a screenshot of a hero jet on here showing that his strength per level went from four to six. His intelligence per level went from eight to 11 and his agility per level went to three from three to five. Also at the bottom here, you can see his power level went up, but power does not matter at all. It's a nice gauge to see where you are in relation to other heroes and other teams, but the power level does not mean anything. If you have, if your team has more power level than the enemy team, you can still easily lose. Skins, every hero has the default skin. The default skin, is whatever their default main stat is. Galahad is a strength hero. Jet that I mentioned earlier, he's an intelligence-based hero. There are agility-based heroes like Ginger and Kira that you might've already seen or unlocked. So you can see here that leveling up his default skin will increase his strength overall. It requires strength skin stones to level it up. It can level up to 60 rank 60, and every hero has a default skin. Galahad has four skins in total. He has his default skin, his angel skin, his champion skin, and his romantic skin. And there are different ways of getting the different skins. You can purchase them with real money. You can get them awarded randomly in the Outland. You can get them earned during special events. But each skin will provide a stat boost. The angel skin will provide physical attack. The champion skin will provide health. The romantic skin will provide armor. The angel skin here on Galahad, providing physical attack, is not the same for everyone. Different angel skins increase stats for different stats. Same thing for champion skins. Some champion skins award health, some champion skins award other stats. Same with romantic skin. Some romantic skins award armor, other romantic skins might, you know, might give you physical attack or magic defense. It's different for every single hero. Before I move on from skins, it's important to note that the skins will stack. If you purchase the angel skin and you can purchase it with real money or for 5,000 skin stones, the stats will stack. So you'll keep the strength bonus from the default skin if you equip the angel skin. If you buy all four of the skins, you get a stacking bonus for all four skins. Now, all heroes don't have all four skins yet. They're slowly being added over time. Different special events throughout the year, Halloween, the holidays, Christmas, whatever you wanna call it. April Fools has the masquerade skins. The romantic skins are released around February, you know, Valentine's Day. Level up the skins that are important to your hero. And if you're curious about which skins are the most important to your hero, check out herowarscentral.com. There is a stat priority for every single hero that's been added to the webpage. And also you can go to the stat priority under game mechanics. The stats tab, probably should have talked about this tab first, but that's okay. Galahad with a short little bio, bio about you know who he is and what he does. This gives you information about where he will line up in the team, position front line, his main hero stat we've already discussed as strength and his role. There are several roles. I believe there are seven roles in total and the role is tank for Galahad. As you scroll down, you can see his hero stats, intelligence, agility, strength, etc., etc., etc. If you're curious about what any of these stats do, vampirism, magic defense, strength, any of it, again, check out herowarcentral.com. There is a hero stats, what are they page under game mechanics. In fact, a lot of the stuff that we're gonna be discussing here is gonna be under the game mechanics tab. And you can learn what each stat does for your hero. It doesn't really explain what intelligence does or what magic attack does for Galahad and why they're, why it's important to level up Galahad's intelligence. It's not really, but it kind of is. Artifacts. Artifacts are not unlocked until you unlock the airship and you unlock the airship at level 20, team level 20, not hero level 20, team level 20. All heroes have three artifacts. They have an artifact weapon, they have an artifact book, and they have an artifact ring. The ring is always gonna be the main stat of your hero. The book is two stats that will accentuate your hero's strengths. Galahad is a tank, so his book is armor and magic defense. And the weapon is going to be a team buff, not Galahad specific, it's a team buff. So you can see here, activation chance 100%, physical attack 125. This gives 125 physical attack to your entire team. And this is activated whenever you use Galahad's ultimate or gray ability, that first ability that you get that has the energy bar when you're in a fight. Whenever you use that ability, this buff 
this 125 physical attack will get applied to your entire team for nine seconds. Some heroes have magic attack. Some heroes have armor. Some heroes have dodge that they, they add to the whole team. It's your job to build teams, to learn heroes that synergize with each other very well, to add damage, add defenses, depending on what your team needs and or lacks. But there's a whole philosophy about artifacts. And I want to reiterate again, Hero Wars is a resource management game first. If you don't like Galahad, do not level up any of Galahad's skins. If you don't like Galahad, do not level up any of Galahad's artifacts. It's that simple, guys. Don't waste the resources. There's not enough to go around. There's just not. Glyphs become available at team level 30. Each hero has five glyphs. They're not all the same. The fifth glyph is always the main stat. In this case, Galahad is strength. The second, third, and fourth glyph, they unlock as you promote a hero. Switching over to a hero that doesn't have any ranks at all, we'll switch to Dark Star here. You can see that the physical attack glyph to forge, excuse me here. Physical attack glyph, you need to have a blue rank in order to unlock the first glyph. You need a blue rank to get the second glyph unlocked. You need a violet rank to get the third glyph, violet plus one for the fourth glyph, and then violet plus two for the fifth glyph. So this is Dark Star. Don't invest in Dark Star if you're not planning on using Dark Star. But if you are, then absolutely promote Dark Star's color rank from gray all the way up to orange plus four as you can and level up these glyphs. And then finally, Gift of the Elements. Gift of the Elements is another team level 30 required stat. Each hero has 30 ranks of the Gift of the Elements. Each rank of the Gift of the Elements will increase the primary stats of this hero by a set amount. I can increase Dark Star's Gift of the Elements from zero to one, and it will add two strength, four agility, and two intelligence. Dark Star is an agility-based hero. So she gains more agility as you rank up her 30 ranks of the Gift of the Elements. Also requires gold. This requires Sparks of Power, which you earn by leveling up your Titans. We'll talk about that a little bit later once we talk, you know, talk about Titans in a video. But every hero you want to level, every hero that you plan on using, you want to level this up to max. Do not level up any hero's Gift of the Elements unless you're planning on using them. The great news about Gift of the Elements that isn't the case everywhere else is if you do level up the Gift of the Elements for Dark Star and then change your mind. You can reset the Gift of the Elements. Why this functionality isn't on glyphs and artifacts and everywhere else, I do not know, but you can reset. You'll get your Sparks of Power back that you spent leveling up the Gift of the Elements, be it one rank or 30 ranks, but you will not get the gold back. So we're gonna go ahead and reset. We're, we lose the 7,000 gold. We gain back our Gift of the Elements, and that is that. One last thing that I want to mention, once you get going, once you start leveling up your heroes and you're going about your day-to-day -day routine and your, you know, your, your schedule and get everything done for you and your guild, once you get into a guild, you're going to want to level up one glyph one time for one hero at least once per day. And we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to guilds, but you definitely want to level up glyphs at least once per day. And this is all tying back to those daily quests that you get active every single day. Any questions about the hero screen, please let me know down in the comment section down below. In the next video that we do, we're going to be discussing the arena. Now we've already done a complete guide to the arena and uh, that'll be listed here at the end of the video, but we will talk a little bit more about, you know, the basics of it when it comes to Hero Wars Mobile, like I said, in the, in the next video in this series. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it very informative and informational. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.